call me Zeus, cause I'm about to strike you with lightning bolts of knowledge. This is Survival Heights. Try and picture it. You're out on the back nine, plopping golf balls into sand traps and putting for a bogey on par four. But before you can even reach the fairway, a sudden lightning storm rolls in. Clouds cover the sun, rain starts to falling, and suddenly you realize you're all alone in the middle of a potential situation. Lightning strike! Well, discharge that nervous energy and let Grizzly Griddles be your knowledge lightning rod as I show you how to go one-on-one -on -one with Mother Nature's taser gun. Now, if you want to stay safe in a storm and avoid lightning altogether, then you gotta get prepared first. If a thunderstorm is on its way, cancel any outdoor planes and stay inside. Next, unplug any electronics so they don't get fried or start a fire. Once the storm arrives, stay inside until 30 minutes after the last clap of thunder. But if the lightning catches you off guard and you got no time to prepare, then step one, take shelter in a building or a car. When lightning crashes, there's no safer place than inside a grounded building or automobile. If you manage to get indoors, shutter any windows or draw the blinds and make sure all doors are locked and secure. Glass can shatter and fancy electronics can fry when a severe storm hits. So keep your distance from both. Try to avoid steel reinforced concrete floors or walls and steer clear of isolated sheds or other small structures in open areas. If there are no safe buildings nearby, then a vehicle is your next best bet. Lots of people think that the rubber tires are what keep you safe in a car, but that's actually not true. Rubber tires and rubber soled shoes provide no protection from a lightning strike. It's the steel frame of the car that provides the extra layer of protection. Just don't touch anything metal inside the car. But what should you do if you're caught outside with no shelter in sight? Then jump to step two, hide under small trees or brush. Take shelter in thick growth of small trees. If the trees are few and far between, look for a dry, low area and avoid any rocky outcrops or ledges that'll leave you wide open to a shocking surprise. Speaking of being caught out in the open, what should you do if the storm is bearing down and there's truly nowhere to hide? Hold that thought, cause it's time for the eye of the storm. Grizzly Griddles, riddle in the middle. Here's today's jilted joke. What do you get when you're struck by lightning? I've got your answer to this one at the end of the video. Now, back to the hikes. All right, young bucks, so you're out in an open field and a lightning strike is just seconds away. What should you do? Try, step free, get low, and avoid tall objects. Lightning is lazy, so it usually takes the shortest path to the tallest target. Well, that means tall objects like trees or flagpoles you become lightning rods of death. So whatever you do, keep your distance. Get to the lowest spot you can find nearby, like a valley, ravine, or a sand trap. Do whatever you can to avoid bodies of water. H2O is one of nature's natural conductors, so it's just about the most dangerous place you can be in a lightning storm. Okay, so you're perched real low. Now, it's time for step four. Get in position and cover your ears. Crouch down low like a baseball catcher and don't touch anything metal that might be a conductor. The only thing touching the ground should be the balls of your feet. Touch your heels together like you're wearing red ruby slippers and lift them off the ground. This increases the chances of the electricity going in one foot and right out the other. And don't forget to cover those ears, cause lightning can be as loud as it is deadly if you're close enough to get struck. If your hair begins to stand on end and your skin begins to tangle, that means a one inch wide, five mile long, writhing rope of pure electric energy is seconds away from smashing one billion volts straight into its nearest victim. Now that's about as close as it gets, Spark Plugs. You can go ahead and count your blessings that you didn't get struck by megavolts of electric jolts. Now for a quick recap, just in case all that thunder had you hiding in the shower with the pup. If a thunderstorm is bearing down on you, take shelter in a nearby car or building. If you're out in the wilderness, hide under small trees or brush and let them protect you from the lightning strike. If you're out in the open, get low and avoid any isolated tall structures that might conduct lightning. Squat down like a catcher, keep the balls of your feet on the ground, and touch your heels together. Last but not least, cover your ears, cause it's about to get louder than an electric DJ dance festival out here. 
Well, young bucks, you can thank your protons and neutrons that Grizzly Griddles was here to discharge 50,000 volts of knowledge straight into your brainstem. Now, before you blow a fuse, here's the answer to Grizzly Griddles riddle in the middle. <clears throat> what do you get when you're struck by lightning? The shock of your life! <laughs> now that answer makes my hair stand on end. Well, it's been my pleasure to help you close an open circuit on another episode of Survival Hacks. Well, subscribe and leave a comment below if you want more wisecracking survival hacking. And remember, real survivors don't go looking for danger, so always stay safely indoors during a storm. Signing off, I'm the Lightning Kid, off the grid, static shock and sleepwalking, Einstein of edutainment, I'm the most electrifying man in survival entertainment, Grizzly Griddles, over and out.